And we're back. This time we have Val Helen as a uh, special guest commentator. Say hello. Hooray. All right. We're going to beat level 7-3. We are. This time, it's going to happen. Well, we hope. And there's Steve. Hey, Steve. How are you doing in the background there? Giant T. Steve's our friend. No, I hate Steve. I'm going to break his face open. You don't break the faces of your friends open? Like a pinata. So therefore, he's our friend. I yeah. think I was right. Whoa! Duh! Okay, this is the part I do not like. So I'm just going to jump it. I lived. If I'm not mistaken, the level end should be right up ahead somewhere. Well, generally in this game, it's pretty much to the oh. right. Frick, dang oh, blast! <laughs> I don't want to waste the grape. I have to use it on Skull Jagger. Those rocks will fall if I don't... No! Oh. And now we get to watch you fall off the end of the world. I warned you this was going to be treacherous and perilous and just miserable. But it is. So I think this is the only 2D game that actually just fully acknowledges, yes, I am only 2D. I'm going to mess there, up. There is nothing time. beyond the 2D-ness of this game. That was there the entire time? <laughs> Apparently. And that's a plasma cannon, just the just by the way. It's a plasma blaster. That's what those are. That's not a real cannon. It's a plasma. Ancient plasma blaster. Do you oh, know yeah. why? I do not well, know. Well you know why. back in the day they had plasma cannons all over the place. The Mayans invented them. Right. Yar! I haven't been talking like a Just pirate. like they invented the stick figure, you know. Alright, I'm gonna get this guy. Oh yeah, he's going down. Uh, this one doesn't appear to take damage. I kind of want the gem, though. Can I kill this guy? I don't think you were hitting him. Now there we go. go. There we go. Gem. That's what we I want. We have one red gem now. Gem and the holograms. I'm totally outrageous. Ah, frick! Frick! No! Please don't murder me! Ah! It looks like the hologram in your chest didn't really do much for you, did it? Yeah. Yeah, it turns out the bees in this level found the most jerk pattern that they could move in, so that they're guaranteed to murder you. Does this work again? Hey! I hate when that happens. Alright. Steve, you're going down. Come on. Don't do this. Just die. I want another one up. Alright. Now well, we don't at least have you now know that you will never get a game over. I don't know. Well, unless you hit another blue gem before. <laughs> There's probably no more blue gems in this level. This is two-thirds of the way through the level. This is right before the end. Right before the boss of the game. I know. You're all on the edge of your seats here. Well, don't worry. We're going to make this. We're going to make this happen. We're making the band. Short band radio. And I'll take that. Thank you! I would have found it humorous if it was too high for you to jump up and get. Ah, bees aren't fooling me this time. That one might. You know, those look more like dragonflies to me than bees, really. Actually, they look kind of like cockroaches. I call them bees because they fly, and all things that fly are bees. Oh, what the heck is this? There we go. <laughs> ah! Oh! No! Oh. I'm not going to waste the great bubblegum on them. I can't. Can't afford you need to do it. That. I need it for the boss. Come on, give me a gem. <gasps> that gem works. Oh yes, it does. That is, that is still the best winning pose ever. Yep. All right. This is the boss of the game, School Yeager himself. And I helped. Can I have a gem? 
that works. One. You get one gem for this entire fight. I don't know, I might. I don't need any more than one. Because I've got great bubble gum. This is the hardest boss because you have nowhere to run to. Neither does he. Game over! <laughs> you know, I expected a little bit more after the entire... <laughs> I'm not reading all this. Yeah, I, no. In fact, I even missed the part where School Jaeger turns into a rat and what runs away. Because I got the gem too fast. Whatever. Whatever. I yeah. don't care. Skull Jagger's over. Watch in triumph as rank upon rank of Keltish troops once the scourge of Westica retreat across the ocean in defeat. All, all because their boss, you know, got beat up by a guy with great bubble gum. Wow, this was such an anticlimax. <laughs> I'm like, okay, final boss. I'm just gonna get the great bubble gum and wreck him. That's it. I don't care. Skull Jagger is over, for, folks. You've had your fun. One can only guess what the purpose of the Skull Jagger rat is. Maybe he wants some cheese? Probably wants, you know... Revenge. So, some, yeah. He wants a sequel. Some sort of mystic cheese of revenge. He's not gonna get a sequel. No. No, he is not. School Jagger! School Jagger? School Jagger. Mick Jagger. Jag Jagger. Jet Jaguar. Let's sing the Jet Jaguar song. If I knew it, I, I would think about it. Oh, it was from a great MST3K. He looks like Jack yeah. Nicholson. It's terrifying. Can, uh, what's going on here? Is it just gonna do this? I, I have... <laughs> it's not even gonna do the whole scroll off the screen thing. It's just... Okay, we got to the bottom. Alright, hang on. What's it doing? Oh, there we oh, go. Now we, now we got credits. The people to blame for this. Enemy well, behaviors, John Tomlinson. Yeah, I think that he has a lot to blame. He's got a lot to answer for. <laughs> you monster. The artwork was nice. Maybe a little yeah. silly. You have to admit that the uh, maps and layouts guy had an easy job. You know, I think I'm going to make him run right and yeah. jump here. Oh, maybe he'll go right and up. You know, just to, turn, to flip it up, I'm going to make him backtrack half a screen, and then go up, and then right again. Yep. Oh, Rod Barr, huh? Rod Barr and Dan Barr. Yeah, I also blame Dave Hayes for the ear-piercing music. You know, it hurts some people and not others. Are, are it didn't really hurt, but it's, just, it's one of those things that I, I know high-pitched sounds, and that was a high-pitched sound half the time. Oh, yeah. It was like listening to little girls scream, but in sense and form. Right. Hey, why do they feel compelled to scream? Can't they just shut up? What's with children? Hey, children, I don't know, shut but up. They, they, they generally just tend to scream for everything. Pain, happiness. Air. Yeah, I mean, it's just... It's like that's their default noise is scream. They scream to remind you that they are in fact here. Or are not here. <laughs> and again, well, yeah, we're too lazy to, make, to actually code it to scroll all the way up. The end. Well, I for one am glad that it's over. Well, I'm sure you are. <laughs> of course, the question is what... Oh, no. oh wait, wait, we can start over now. Hey, I've got a brilliant idea. Wait, RLR. Yeah, find the secret window in Mr. Roop's warehouse and think about the sword's inscription. That doesn't mean anything! I don't have the manual! But you know what? I'm getting the manual and I'm going to post it, so there you go. Yeah, we, we have to just, because it, it, it's supposedly like a book that you pretty much have to read in order to even understand what's going on. Yeah, the videos are one thing, but the manual is a let's play in and of itself. <laughs> this has been I Let's Play I actually, Year. when I first played this game, I actually rented it. Uh-huh. And it actually came with the book. Oh, wow. And I rented it when I was staying the night over at a friend's house, so we didn't even bother to read it. We just wanted to play the game. <laughs> and none of us, neither of us could get past this first level. Yeah. All right, that's about it for us. We gotta go. Gotta wrap this up.
Yeah, let's Thank get out of here. Thank you for joining me, and uh, hope you all enjoyed this somehow. I did at certain times. Uh, later, folks.